I'm not sure really where the money came from and I'm not quite sure how much money I got because my mum really was helping me do that. I wasn't really quite right up there. She was working with my social worker and she managed the money mainly. I thought it was pretty good. They did like a chart thing that I had to fill in a couple of times. It asked me my goals, where I want to get to and all that. I said to maintain a stable mental health and try and get a job one day so I can actually earn my money and be more independent. They asked me what I would like to do to keep me busy and stuff and I was like, well, the gym because I put loads of weight on because of the medication I'm on. So I started going to the gym, doing that spinning on the bike three times a week, but I didn't really enjoy it. Then they gave me funding for a bike, which helped me because I couldn't walk very well at all because I'd had an accident and that, but I can ride a bike as far as I like. It's my freedom, really. My mum was worried I might get hit, but lucky enough, they talked her into it. And things were a lot easier since I got that bike. A lot easier. If I hadn't had the bike, I couldn't even walk into town and back from where I live. But I was able to get about everywhere. And then I got funding for driving lessons, which really helped me. I'm not quite sure how the funding stopped. It seemed to stop when my social worker changed. I'm not quite sure what happened there, actually. So I started using my income support money to pay for the lessons. I've been doing them for a year and a half now. But if I hadn't had the funding in the first place, I probably wouldn't have started the driving lessons whatsoever. Once I've passed my test, I'm hoping to be able to go to college on a course and learn something and work my way up. And in the future, I'd like to come off benefits altogether and earn my own money. And a lot of it. I'm still looking after my dad, doing all the things he needs doing and that. He's had his legs amputated. I'm pretty much there all the time with him now, so they said I could get a carer's allowance. If my dad did pass away, I'd have to get a job then, which would be good, because it would keep my mind occupied. And it's good to keep your mind occupied. Before, I never really thought I'd be able to get a job. No one ever said I had to have a job, and I was always ill. But now, I'm not ill. I have my medication and that keeps me all right. I've got my driving theory test next Friday and if I pass that, my instructor reckons I'm ready for my practical. So hopefully I'll pass and that'll make things easier for the future. If I hadn't had that bike and the people who helped me by saying that it would be good for me, if I hadn't had that bike, I wouldn't have been getting around like I have been. I'm way better than I used to be a few years back.